All right, there it is. Not too big. It's like five inches wide. Hey guys, it's Monday morning and I did not list a lot on eBay last week. I think Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I didn't list at all. I just shipped out orders. Uh, Lonnie and Candace were here, so we were hanging out garage sale and having fun. So didn't do a whole lot of listings, so I did not sell a lot on eBay this past weekend. I've only got five orders to ship out, but let's get to work. First thing is this pair of jeans I pulled from my storage unit. Picked these up a couple weekends ago. I've got about two or three dollars into them. They're new with the tags. Buffalo David Bitten. I don't think they're super valuable. They sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is over here in C3. Something I've had for quite some time. I got this as part of a book by maybe six years ago. Um, it is a really old bottle of Artist Genuine Stand Oil. I had this listed for the longest time for about $20 or best offer. Somebody sent an offer of $10 plus shipping and I accepted. Next is up here in D7. It is a Conan O'Brien Funko Pop. I actually have two of these. Conan O'Brien, uh, I guess he's got like some kind of kilt. Bavarian Conan. Make sure these are the same ones. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, this was also part of a bulk buy. Got about a dollar into that. It sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Next is right here in D3. It is some trading cards. Let's see, I believe it is these right here. Um, these are something my dad gave me to sell. It is a lot of nine uh, 1950 Tops Freedom War cards. Pretty neat. If you guys ever see these old ones, they definitely do pretty well. This lot sold for $19.99 free shipping. These are going out to viewer named Christopher. Christopher, thank you so much for the business. I really appreciate it. All right, last thing I'm shipping is also in D7. I guess I could have just left this down here. It is a Funko Pop Aquaman Mara. This sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Let's go out to a viewer named Rafa. He says, hey, Cincinnati Picker, I'm a YouTube fan. I catch all your videos. Thanks for the great content. Specifically, I learned how to sell bats from you, and now they're one of my favorite things to pick up, and I've sold many of them. That's awesome. I'm a fairly new picker, and my YouTube is Resale Rafa, and on my channel, you can follow my flipping dollar. Thanks again. I'll definitely check out your channel, Rafa. Thank you so much for the support. I really hope you like that Funko Pop. It's Tuesday morning, and once again, I only have a couple orders to ship out, uh, but that gives me more time to get some things listed hopefully uh build up some momentum and get some more sales this week so let's go ahead and ship this stuff okay first thing is a uh, microscope let's see it is right here in the original case this is a tasco deluxe it's a vintage set has all the original packing and everything a lot of it's still taped up um this is probably something you'd find at sears you know, in the 70s or 80s. Just kind of like a take-home microscope, you know, science kit for kids. Kind of neat. Um, this was in those storage units I bought a few months ago. And it just now sold for $29.99 plus shipping. All right, next is down here in C6. It is a uh, house sitter watchdog timer. I got three or four of these at a garage sale for a dollar each. This one sold for $11.99 free shipping. And the last thing I'm shipping out is this uh, Mariner's Lamp Lantern thing that I got at a garage sale about two or three weeks ago. I paid $8 for it, and I sold it for $50 free shipping. I actually sold that outside of eBay. A viewer reached out named Jane that wanted it. So, Jane, thank you so much for the support. I really hope you like that lantern. It's Wednesday morning. I have seven eBay orders to ship out. But first, I'm going to answer a question. This is from Jared Zimmerman. Hey, John, great video. Keep these up. Hoping for a little Dymo help. I bought a label writer for XL and it's set up properly, but when I print a label, it also prints the USPS instructions, not just the label. I've got the settings on 4x6, but I can't figure out how to adjust. Thanks, Jared. P.S. My seller name is JZ Met. Okay, so I think I had the same problem when I had the Dymo, and it's just a matter of deselecting an option in the eBay print page. So when you're going into eBay, you print your shipping label, you put in all the dimensions and everything else. You want to deselect the button that says print USPS instructions because it automatically defaults to print that. So make sure you deselect that and it, you should be good to go. I think it might be on the page after you buy the postage. You click buy the postage and then it's the next one that you deselect it. Maybe it's the other one. I don't know. But I know that there's a button for that. So good luck with that, Jared. I think that should fix your problem. If you guys have questions for me, leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer it in a future video. All right, time to get to work. First thing shipping out is this printer. 
although I don't have to ship the whole thing. This is a kind of weird, interesting situation, I'll tell you guys. So I got that at a garage sale, I guess about two weeks ago. I paid $15 for it, and in full working condition, it sells for about $350 but it's a pretty well-known problem uh, that sometimes the ink can dry up and everything like that. So I plugged it in, you know, everything seemed to be moving properly, but the ink was low and I couldn't, you know, there wasn't enough to like have a proper test page printed. And I looked at the price of ink to get all the ink for it and it was gonna be like 70 or $80. I'm like, I don't know if I really wanna invest all that. So I decided, to list it as is. I listed it as it is. I said, look, it turns on. I haven't printed a page. Like, you know, you get what, what it is. And I also did it for $200 plus shipping and it sold like right away. And the buyer sent me a message asking to remove a certain piece. And I think it's the printer head is what he said. He sent me like video instructions and a whole big thing of like how to take it out and how to pack it and all that stuff and he's like i don't want the printer i just want that part so i was like that sounds good to me i'll pull it out and ship it to you and i'll refund him the difference because obviously he paid a lot of money to ship the whole printer so i am going to attempt this we're going to try to pull it out and see if we can get it done there it is not too big it's like five inches wide pretty small piece it was a little harder to do than I thought it would be and uh, I put some gloves on just so I didn't get all this ink on my fingers or anything uh, but that's the piece that's that's what he wanted paid $200 plus shipping for uh, this is the first time I've done this so I, I'm definitely not an expert to give you guys advice on how to take these things out of there but I will put a link down below uh, for the video that I just watched on how to do this all right moving right along I've got some stuff out of d7 and also d8 I'll just pull both of these down let's see here um, out of d7 I sold, what is it, the uh, Conan O'Brien. I had two of these, I already sold the other one. Uh, this was sold for $5.99 plus shipping. That Conan's going out, so if you're named Logan, he says, I'm a huge fan, my eBay is Los Zoo 35 I would love it if you could throw in a couple of stickers for me. You made me want to start reselling last summer. I made around $1,400 the last two summers, and I'm 15. Logan, that is fantastic. Sounds like you were doing really good reselling. I wish you nothing but the best of luck, and I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. Okay, next thing is a Wonder Woman figure. This one right here uh, with purple hair. This sold for $7.99 plus shipping. And the buyer got two other things as well. Let's see, something's over here in F5. It's a pair of shoes. So we will move this out of the way. These right here. Uh, let's see, these are Speedo um, Hydro Comfort size 7 shoes. And there's also a puzzle that we're pulling for that same buyer in D1. So we'll head back over here. This is a Dowdle Exodus puzzle. Something I got at a garage sale for a couple bucks. This and the shoes sold for $34.98 plus shipping. Those are going to a viewer named Mike who says, Hey John, love your channels and all the content you and Lonnie do. My wife and daughter will love these gifts for upcoming birthdays. Thanks again. Mike, thank you so much for your support and I really do hope they like those gifts. Okay, the thing we're pulling out of D8 is a Disney Dorbs. Let's see, it is Goofy. Probably one of these right here. Yep, there it is. I've got about a dollar into this. It sold for $6.99 plus shipping. And that's going out to viewer named Melissa. She says, hey John, just wanted to say thank you for the great content. I've learned a lot by watching these videos and I'm going into my second year on eBay. I've started collecting Funko Pops and stickers for my favorite resellers to go on my eBay shelves and can't wait to add this one. Thanks again. Melissa, thank you so much for the business. I really appreciate it. All right, next thing we're pulling is in B2. This is a Logitech PC cordless rumble pad. Uh, controller. I got this at a garage sale last weekend for five dollars and sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Okay, last order I'm pulling has two items. Uh, one in C7, 
Uh, I thought it was in C8, but I guess they're both here in C7. Let me move this out of the way. All right, this is two first gear, uh, like, linemen's work trucks. Pretty neat. They've got a lot of detail to them. I bought these up in Cleveland with that big collection of cars and trucks and everything else that I spent uh, $1,100 on. And these are kind of, I think I've maybe got four or five left. These are definitely some of the last ones I've got. I listed these for $80 or best offer, and uh, somebody reached out, a viewer actually, named Randy, and he was like, hey, you know, what, what would be the best you do on these? And I said, how about $80 plus shipping for the pair? So $40 each plus shipping. Um, I'll combine them both into one box and refund him the difference in the shipping cost. Randy, thank you so much for your continued support. I really hope you like those trucks. It is Wednesday, October 1st. I've got seven or eight eBay orders to ship out, uh, but first, since it is October 1st, I'm going to point out to you guys that it is the official start of Q4. So if you've got stuff to list, now is the time to push. Really list hard. List a lot of stuff because from now till technically the end of the year, but really it kind of spills into January, sales are going to be booming. I mean, historically every year Q4 is the best time for sales. So list everything you got. Just Get it all listed because now's the time to do it. Uh, the other thing I want to point out is if you have an eBay store, you can now get your supplies for Q4. Uh, they do it every three months. You get a shipping supply coupon depending on what store you have. Uh, it depends on how much you get. I think the entry level is like 25 and then it's like 50 and like goes up from there. So just a reminder, get your shipping supplies in because that does expire at the end of the year. All right, first two things um, going out. These I pulled from my storage unit. These are Greg Norman pants, or I'm sorry, shorts, new with the tags. Got these at a garage sale a couple weeks ago for a couple bucks. They sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next is a little Fitbit my dad gave me. Um, I think it was just his old Fitbit that he didn't want anymore. That sold for $17.99 free shipping. Okay, next is in C9. <laughs> I've got this big TV box uh, because Whenever this Nerf gun sells, that's what it's going to go in. So I guess that's just going to sit there until that Nerf gun sells. So we'll just kind of squeeze this box out of there. All right. What did we sell out of C9? It is a Rock Candy Suicide Squad Enchantress figure. This one right here. Let's see. I might have sold something else out of here. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, this I've got less than a dollar into it sold for $5.99 plus shipping and that same buyer got something else Let's go ahead and put this back The other thing he got is in D7 Right up here And it is a Batgirl rock candy figure right there uh, That one sold for $5.99 plus shipping. I'll combine them both in the same box and refund him the difference in the shipping costs. Both of those are going out to your name, Keith. Keith, thank you so much for your support. Really hope you like those figures. Okay, next is a record album right here. It is the wrestling album from 1985. How cool is that? Got all these old wrestlers. There's Macho Man, Randy Savage. That guy actually played for the Cincinnati Reds back in the day. Uh, Hulk Hogan on the back. Just really cool photo they've got on the front here. Look how young Vince McMahon is. I got this yesterday. Um, I traded a friend of mine. He had a bunch of record albums. Um, and he kind of sorted through some of my stuff. We did a little inventory swap. I normally don't put records on eBay. But this one had some decent value. And it was in pretty good condition. So I decided to just go ahead and list it on eBay. Instead of putting it in my booth. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And just to give you guys a heads up. Whenever you're shipping record albums, they make boxes specifically for them. Um, it's kind of like a flat, actually. So you put it in here, you fold all the corners together, and it ships nice and flat and uh, won't get damaged. So just a heads up with that. Let's go and ask if you name Randy. Randy, thank you for the business. It means a lot. All right, moving right along. Sold something out of E3. Sent out a handful of offers yesterday to some watchers on some things, and this is one of them. This is an Alanis Morissette uh, tour t-shirt. Uh, from the 90s. I think it was like 96. It is a size large, which doesn't look that big. I made sure I put in the pit-to-pit -pit measurements and everything. Got this at my buddy Josh's house. I bought a, you know, bulk a lot of stuff from him maybe a couple months ago. And I sent out an offer of $25 plus shipping for the shirt and someone accepted. 
Okay, next thing is an F2. It's a Camo Ducks Unlimited hat, new with the tags. I got this at a garage sale about a month ago. I've got just under $2 into it. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And last thing we're pulling is an F4. This is a robot um, builder kit, new in the packaging. I uh, got this at a garage sale last weekend for $10. It sold for $44.99 plus shipping. Today is Friday, October 2nd. I've got a lot of eBay orders to ship out today, but first I got to do a little bit of hanging of some bubble wrap. Got two more big rolls and I think I've shown you guys this before, but I wanted to go ahead and point it out again. I have my bubble wrap uh, hung above my workstation and I put PVC pipe here so that when it rolls, the uh, wrap doesn't get like rolled over the uh, cardboard. I've actually, <laughs> I learned it the hard way. And the first time I, I hung bubble wrap, it was just getting into this like coiled mess. So I put the PVC pipe there and it rolls a lot easier now. It stays pretty clean. Uh, this is actually 24 inch wide because I got a deal on one roll of that. But now I've got 12 inch wide of the small and big bubbles and we're gonna get them hung up. If you guys aren't already buying your bubble wrap in bulk, I highly recommend doing it. You save a bunch of money that way. If you buy it at like Home Depot, Lowe's, any of those places, you're gonna pay a lot more. Um, you can get 700 foot rolls like this for about $35 shipped on eBay. So if you're interested, I'll put a link down below in the description. All right, first thing we're pulling is down here in F6. It is an NES game. Let's see, it is Raid on Bungling Bay. Bungling Bay might be mispronouncing that. Uh, let's see here. Is it this one? No. It's Mad Max. Here we go. It has the um, dust cover and the owner's manual. I got this in Fort Wayne with all the other game and other stuff that I got up there. Got maybe about a dollar into it. It sold for $16.99 free shipping. Next we're going to B2. These are Braun beard trimmer heads. I got this Last weekend at a garage show for $2 and it sold for $14.99 for shipping. All right, the next three orders I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. First is this Coors Light hat. I got this probably like six months ago at a garage show. I got like five or six of them all at the same time for a quarter each. And this one sold for $8.99 plus shipping. And then right next to it is this um, cosmetic thing I got at a garage show a couple weeks ago for $2. It is Martian Melting gel toner that sold for $17.99 free shipping and next are these harry potter cassette tapes it is five of the books uh for $34.99 free shipping i got those at a garage sale for five bucks your name julie bought those harry potter audiobooks and she says i'm a viewer love your videos keep up the good work a sticker would be awesome julie thanks for your support i'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you next is down here in f5 it is a pc game also something i got in fort wayne Let's see, it is the Journeyman Turbo um, Big Box. You guys ever see these big box PC games? If you can get them for pretty cheap, pick them up because they usually do pretty well. This one sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is up here in F2. It is another PC game, Under a Killing Moon. That one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is down here in C5. It is a big lot of patches. Uh, I've only got about $3 into these. I had them listed for like $30 or best offer. Somebody sent an offer of $20 free shipping and I accepted. Okay, next thing we're pulling is a vinyl record right here, Back to the Future. Um, got this from my buddy Jamie. We did a trade of some inventory and this was one of the records. And just like the wrestling record, I decided to put this on eBay because I thought it would do a little bit better. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Let's go on out to viewer named Tyler. Tyler, thank you for the business. Really hope you like this record. Okay, next thing we're pulling is right up above where the record was. This is a vintage Rydell football helmet. Not in the best condition. It has a little bit of scuffs and scratches and stuff, but I um, actually got this for free. Uh, I ran into a viewer at a garage sale who was having the sale, and I bought a bunch of records, and I was going to get this, and he's like, you can just have it, man. So 
Really appreciate that. If you're watching that, thank you so much. Uh, this sold for $34.99 plus shipping. That helmet's going out to viewer named Steven who says, Hey, John, love watching your videos. My fiance Stacy waits for me to get off work so we can watch them together. Keep up the good work. Steven, thanks for the support. And Stacy sounds like a keeper. Okay, next is a pair of boots right over here. Ariat. Uh, I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, work boots. Size 9. It's under this. So let me pull this out of here. I got these as part of a bulk buy maybe two months ago. So I think I've got about $15 into them. I listed them for maybe around like a hundred for a while. I wasn't getting any bites. Um, sent out a best offer of $50 plus shipping and someone accepted. Your name Enrique bought those boots. Thank you so much for the support, man. Really hope you like those boots. Next thing we're pulling is down here an A5. It is a lighter that I picked up last weekend at a garage sale for a dollar and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And I know I sold at least one more thing out of here. This Miami Dolphins hat. I actually got this at the same sale that I got that lighter. I paid a dollar for this. It has that really cool splash design. Um, I have not really found any of these. I found the shark tooth design but I've never seen this splash design. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing's in D2. Slide this card out of the way. It is a uh, Daisy Duck plush doll right back in there. I got this as part of a bulk buy uh, when I bought out somebody's eBay store, so I don't have much into it, but it sold for $12.99 plus shipping. Next is another PC game. I actually sold three of them yesterday. This is Space Quest VI, Roger, Wilco, and the Spinal Frontier. This was complete. Um, the box had a little bit of like water damage on the back, so that hurt the value, and I made sure that I pointed that out. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, we're going back to B2, because I could have just left that open earlier. Sold this uh, VTech uh, cordless phone setup. It's got three handsets. It was new in the packaging. I got it at a garage sale last weekend for $3. It sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next is a VCR. Um, the question is where I put it. I think... This might be it right here. Let's see here. Uh, yep, this is it. This is the SV2000. Not a very well-known brand, but it does sell for a little bit of money. This one didn't have the remote, unfortunately, so that hurt the value. But I went ahead and put a, a, a blank VHS tape with it, a uh, sealed one. I think that might have helped it. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And I got that at a garage sale for $2. Next is a pair of boots. So a couple pair of boots yesterday. Here they are. These are Wolverine boots. Um, they were part of the same bulk buy that I got the Ariat boots with. These were not new though. These were used, but they did have the original box and they were pretty clean. I listed them for around $50. Somebody sent an offer of $35 plus shipping and I accepted. All right, next thing I'm shipping out is this uh, Playmobil RC train set. I decided to do two lots of this because there were just so many pieces. And this lot, um, I was like half of the track that was in it, half of the people, all that stuff. Um, a couple of the cars, and it sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Okay, last order I'm pulling has a total of 12 items in it, all going to the same buyer. Let's see, first is down here in C5. It is a vintage pipe that I picked up. A few weeks ago at a sale. Only got a couple dollars into that. Um, let's see, next we're going over to F5 and F6. So pull this stuff out of the way. In F6, we've got a Colorado license plate. This is something I got in Tennessee when I bought all those license plates together. And let's see, next is over in F5. It is an old watch fob, so let's put this back. really small one there it is uh, this is an old um, loyal order of the moose club watch fraud from Cincinnati it's a really old one from 1913 next is an e5 it is some Hallmark Barbie ornaments and there's some more Hallmark Barbie ornaments 
and E4. Two more lots of those. These are ones I've had for about a year, actually. I got these last year at a garage sale. Next thing is an F1. It is one of those coin-operated timers that I got at a garage sale. Uh, I guess it's been about two or three weeks now. And this buyer bought all four of them. So we got this one right here. There's also a uh, mechanism part in here. So we're going to pull that out too. There's four different listings. Next two things are both an A2. It's another uh, coin mechanism and the uh, another full one with the key and everything. Next thing is an A8. It is this vintage snake. Um, I think it's like a coin tray. Could be an ashtray, but I kind of don't think it is. But it's got a cool look to it. And then the very last thing we're pulling is in D4. This is an old Wheeling, West Virginia oil can. So same buyer, got all this stuff here. It's actually a friend of mine named Chris. He reached out about getting all this stuff. He was wanting to do a bundle deal for everything. So he made a deal for 165 free shipping. Chris, thank you so much for the support, man. Really hope you like that stuff. All right, guys, before I end this video, I've got some viewer mail I want to open. First is from Noah. Hey, I'm Noah and I'm a relatively new reseller. Been doing it about six months and already at 15,000 gross. That is awesome, Noah. Thank you for helping me reach this point. I'm 18, so this is helping me pay for college. I saw this picture of yard sale and couldn't help buying it knowing I would send it your way. The woman said this was hung in a bar in South Carolina for a decent bit of time and I thought it was pretty cool. Hope you enjoy and keep making great content. Hope all is well and I truly look up to you, man. N and J Thrifts and N and J Thrifts on eBay, two accounts. Noah, thank you so much, man. I'm excited to see what this says. Oh, wow. That's pretty slick. I'm not a Cubs fan, but still a pretty cool poster. Thank you, Noah. Okay, next is from Israel. John and my family love your videos. We visited your booths as well. I've started listing a few things myself just as a hobby. Uh, eBay name is isrby-80. Thanks for all the things you do in the education along the way. Here's a few small items from a local drugstore here in Corydon, Indiana, where we live. Thanks, Israel, Randy, Kinley, Kalen, and Big Al. <laughs> I heart butt drugs. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Here's the I Heart Butt Drugs bumper sticker and a uh, face mask. That's pretty funny. Israel and family, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. All right, next is from Manuel. To John, thanks for everything you do. This is the 1976 World Series program when the Reds swept the Yankees. I saw you had one from the 80s already. If you already have it, then send it to Lonnie to start his collection. Thank you, eBay Store and IG on the hunt 90701 oh wow look at that that is cool thank you manuel okay last but not least is from brendan john my kids and i love your content thanks for all the inspiration we sent you some gifts please enjoy the glasses and pennant check comps on that pennant i'm dad planted on youtube if you'd like to shout out my channel thank you in advance if you do we're right up the road from you in columbus Best of luck for the remainder of the grass shell season and stay safe. Brendan, Clara, Gwen, and Jackie. He said go reds at the end. Oh wow, this is an oldie right here. Yeah, that is a really old one. I love that old Mr. Redlegs logo. That is so cool, guys. We got it looks like some Pilsner glasses. Oh wow. Those are slick. Guys, thank you so much for this stuff. I really appreciate it. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.